You are going on vacation, but how can you relax knowing that you will have a pile of Jira issues waiting for you when you arrive from your sunny resort? In this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate Google Calendar with Jira. When you block your time for your next trip to the mountains, you will stop being assigned to work in Jira and your colleagues will know that you are away. To do this connection, we'll need a Google Calendar account. Makes sense. Even better if it's a business account. A Jira Cloud instance where you collaborate with your team. An evaluation of Out of Office Assistant for Jira, our app. And a Sapia account. A free account will do it just fine. Hi, I'm Björn, co CEO of Resolution, and welcome to this tutorial of our Sapia integration between Google Calendar and Jira. With Sapier, you can connect many different systems that you may be using to manage time off and vacation requests to out of office. Let's look at the most popular example that many of you are asking for with Google Calendar. So I have opened an account on Sapier and I'm in my dashboard. What I want to do is connect Barbie's out of office calendar in the Google Calendar. With this Jira instance, where you can see that I'm logged in as Barbie. But let's start on Sapier. I go to SEPs on the left panel and click on create a new SEP. I search for Google Calendar, which shows me up here. I select an event, in this case new event, which is an instant trigger. Now I have to connect to the Google Calendar account and authenticate to Gmail. I consent to Sapia accessing Google Calendar. In the next step, I select the right calendar. When I try to test, I may get an error. This means that there are no events for Google Calendar to test whether the trigger is working. Let's move over to the Google Calendar to create a test event. Click on any day, add a description and save it. This test event doesn't have to be an out-of-office event. Now let's test. It may happen that Zapier doesn't find the test event immediately, so don't be afraid to retest. In this case, it worked. Here I can check that it's the right event. It has the same summary and starts on October 11. When we can click on continue and look out of office assistant for Jira. Then th select the event, add or update absence. In the next step, I'm asked to sign in, then prompt to enter a token to authorize access. Here you have the URL pattern to find your own out of office page. I already have a tab open, but so I'm going to click on create REST API token as Barbie and click again to copy it. Then I paste it and click on the huge orange button. And the window will close if the connection succeeds. Back on the SEP editor, click on continue and we arrive to the action setup. For start date, let's map it with the event begins variable. There are two different variables with the same name, both should work. For end date, let's map the event ends variable. For the message, I'm going to replace the default with the event summary. Under out of office event filter, I will look for a variable event type. And for the filter description, I already have the default out of office with lowercase o, which is exactly what Google Calendar wants. The rest is up to you. I'm going to select all projects and admin as a cover. Let's test it. And we can see that the rule was successfully sent. But it hasn't been published because our test was not an out of office event, so it was skipped. Now you're ready to publish your set. I could choose to transfer existing data, but what I'm going to do instead is move over to the Google Calendar to create some out of office events. Barbie is based in Madrid. And she has an awful lot of bank holidays in the fall, which we need admin to cover for. 
So there goes Columbus Day. Remember to activate the Out of Office tab. This will allow to automatically decline meeting invites. Let's keep going and create another one for Dia de los Muertes. And a third one for a random religious bank holiday uh, the second week of November. Now, if we give a minute on go back to ZEP history, we'll see that the ZEP runs three tasks. We can access the details. But most importantly, we see that back in the out of office, three rules are already there. Cool, we have three holidays. But plans change. A holiday can be extended or shortened. So ZEP we have created will also work if you want to change dates around. But it won't work if you cancel altogether. And that unfortunately also happens. Let's create another connection so that I can delete Google Calendar events. It's really the same process. I click on Create ZEP. Again, I have to select the Google Calendar as a trigger. But this time the event will be Event Cancelled. Continue. And I connect again the same account. Continue and select, select Barbie's calendar. Continue and test the trigger. This takes a couple of seconds. Then you can hit Continue and move over to the action in Out of Office Assistant for Jira. Here I need to select the other event, Delete Absence. Click and continue, connect Barbie's account, hit continue again, then start setting up the action. The mapping is the same as we already saw, but with less fields. Start date, end date, affected projects and filtering options. That's all we need to make sure we delete the right stuff. Now I can click on continue, test it. And if everything goes right, you can publish. Now let's delete all these rules in out of office. So on Google Calendar, I just click the delete bin. Columbus Day, gone. It helps if we wait a few seconds between each deletion. Dia de los Muertos, gone. And this other random bank holiday is also gone. Now I'm going to make the SEP run. You can also just wait for a couple of minutes, depending on your SAP plan. I go back to the SEP list, click on the three dots button next to the switch and hit run. Then I will see that Zapier is working. After a couple of seconds, it's already found the three events. And as you can see, it keeps looking in case anything else was deleted from the calendar. Let's close the window and reload the page in Jira. That wasn't that difficult, right? Well, it can be even easier. You can jump right to the templates that we have prepared for you. Simply go to the Out of Office Assistant landing pages in Sapir and look for Google Calendar. When you select the template, you have already most of the configuration work done for you. Which events are at work, how the different fields are mapped. You only have to authenticate the both apps if it's the first time you're doing this and decide the details of your out of office rule. Once you have integrated Google Calendar with Jira, you can relax with confidence. Go hiking, swim, look after your sick daughter. The world doesn't stop. Your Jira issues will be taken care of. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and see you next time.